Boragas says the review of the San Martin SN0131G. So, in my opinion, this is the best watch San Martin have ever come out with. They've had some really good ones, but I think this takes it to a whole other level. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I've reviewed quite a few over the years that I've been going. One of the first watches I actually picked up, I think, was a San Martin. And that's this one here. So, if you want to see reviews of all these, and every other San Martin watch I've checked out, including this one, they're all going to be in a playlist that I'm going to be linking down in the bottom. If you want to check that out, I have separate playlists for all the different watch brands that I've checked out on the channel. If I've reviewed more than one, obviously. But anyway, getting back to this one. We'll quickly pop the watch to one side for a second. Briefly show you the packaging, because you've probably seen it before, so I'm not going to go into detail. But it is good. And here is the actual watch. And as you can see, it is a really good looking piece. Little polished details catching the light. Some interesting design choices going on. We'll go into this in more detail, but before we do, let's quickly go over the dimensions on this first. So we've got a diameter of 39.5, thickness of 11.6, lug width of 20, and then the all important lug to lug is coming in at 46.5. So some nice dimensions there. When it comes to the weight, with all the links included, it's 140 grams. Size of my 7 inch wrist, it's coming in about 130. So you're probably noticing some design elements that might be similar to other watches, but there is quite a lot of original stuff going on with this, as I alluded to in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently with this video. I'm not going to start with the dial or the case, we're going to go straight to the bracelet first, because I think that is one of the most interesting design pieces with this watch. So here it is. Initially you might think it's a beads of rice bracelet, but if we zoom in, you'll be able to see it's actually something a little bit different. So I'm not entirely sure if this is on any other watch. It's not on any other watch that I've seen. If you have, please do let me know down in the comments because I would be interested to find out. So I'm actually calling this a chainmail link. That's not entirely accurate, but I think it's the closest thing I can think of. Because you can see they go slightly into a point in the center. They're not completely flat. They're not smoothed off like beads of rice. Just gives a bit of a different look. And you get a little bit of light play as well because of that. Despite it being a fully brushed bracelet. There's no polished sections on it at all. No polished details or anything. And you can see we've got screw links there as well. Then when it comes to the clasp, we've got the San Martin logo on there. And it is there on the fly adjustable clasps. I really do love these things. They're so good. And they work so well as well. Just really nice to have. Once you've tried them, it's just really difficult to go back to a watch that doesn't have one. You can see really smooth action on it. Just push that button in. Works really well. No issues at all. While we're around here, I'll show you the underneath of that bracelet as well so you can see what it's like. So nice smooth finishing on there. So it is going to wear nicely on wrist. And you can also see they are actually individual links on there. So it's a seven link bracelet. Then we've got the sterile case back. Screw down. When it comes to the case, you can see we've got drilled lugs on there, which is always nice to have. And then that really nice female end link with those individual links, as I said. Those kind of chain mail pieces. Does look good. In terms of the rest of the case, got a nice bit of curvature to it. So it does conform to wrist nicely. Got that box dome sapphire crystal on top. And then we've got that polished chamfer detail on the edge. There's a couple of little polished elements around the bezel too. But otherwise it is a fully brushed bracelet and head. And you can see those polished details there I was talking about on the bezel. Just catching the light nicely. Just adds a little bit of interest. Because as I say it is otherwise fully brushed. So I do like the way they've done that. But now, let's talk about this dial in a bit more detail. So we've got that Aquanaut kind of style dial, which has got that gradient to it. So it's darker around the outside, lighter in the middle. It's also got a little bit of texture to it as well. So apparently it's an oil press dial. When it comes to the indices, we've got a mixture of applied and printed. So the triangle at the top and the buttons at the 3, 6 and 9, they're all applied. Whereas the numbers are actually printed, as are those smaller buttons next to the numbers as well. When it comes to the logo, we've got that applied San Martin hexagonal logo. I know that's a bit divisive, some people still don't like it. I personally like it now. I've gotten used to it. And then the only other thing on the dial is that automatic text, just above the 6. So it's going to be interesting to see how the loom performs when we check that out in a bit. Because, as I say, there is a mixture of applied and printed. You probably also noticed we've got a nice blued second hand there. And it is actually blued, not just painted blue. So do you like that? Nice touch. So depending on the light you get on, it'll look 
more or less black, but when the light catches it just right, it's got more of a metallic blue look to it. You can also see there we've got the nice grippy crown, nicely finished, and some nice little polished details in there again. So now, let's check out whether we've actually got sapphire crystal or not on this, using the trusty diamond selector too. And, yep, we have got sapphire crystal, as you kind of expect with San Martin, and at this kind of price point too. So now, let's talk about the movement on this. So, as you probably expected, yep, it's an NH35. So I'm not going to go into detail on this, you know plenty about them, you've seen them in plenty of watches. But... When it comes to the crown on this, I will quickly mention that. It's a really nice grippy crown. Screw down, as you'd expect. Works well, no issues at all with that or the movement. Having an NH38 would have been nice so we don't have a ghost date, but other than that, no issues. But now, let's check out what that looms like with the mixture of indices. So, we can see we've got a little bit there already, but let's charge it up and give it a proper chance. And there we go. So as you can see, we've got that really nice ice blue, that BGW9, and we've got plenty of it on the hands and the indices, both applied and printed, which is a really interesting thing. I wasn't expecting them to be exactly the same. I thought there'd be a little bit of differentiation between the two, but at least initially, you can't really tell the difference. And it's all evenly applied, no patchiness at all, consistent, no imperfections or anything. You will begin to see the difference between the applied and the printed in a second though, it will start to become more obvious. Obviously the printed ones will be slightly less when it comes to longevity, but not by a great deal. Certainly not as much as I was expecting. I was expecting there to be a far bigger difference between them, as I say. But they've got a decent amount on those printed indices. You can see there are like quite a few layers when you look at it side on, on the actual dial. They kind of almost look like they're applied, because they've got that much on there. So it is good. Obviously with that second hand being blued, we don't have any loom on that, but you'd expect that would have been a blued one. It's not really that big a deal. Not really a great deal of difference between the applied and the printed. So it does last a really good amount of time. For both, eventually the numbers will fade slightly quicker. But overall, the loom's going to last all night, so you'll be able to use it. Definitely no issues there whatsoever, as you come to expect with San Martin. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist, then we'll go over the pros and cons of this so you can decide whether you want to pick one up or not. And here's what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. So as I've been saying throughout the video, this is a really good looking piece and a really well made piece. I absolutely love it. And with that on the fly adjustable clasp, you can get the perfect fit too. That really distinctive looking, what I'm calling chainmail bracelet. It's also really good looking, really comfortable. And despite it being fully brushed, it does actually catch the light quite nicely. As do all these little polished details on the bezel and on the case of the little chamfers. It adds a bit of interest, and I do really, really like it, as I keep saying. It just wears so well, and it's just so comfortable, as well as looking really good. Another thing that does help with that is the case. It's just a really nicely curved, shaped, and fairly thin case as well, so it conforms to your wrist really well. The only thing I'd really change about the watch is maybe the movement, just to go with the NH38, so you have that no-date specific version, seeing as we don't have a date window but other than that I can't really fault it perhaps if I'm being really nitpicky maybe they could have fully applied indices and not a mixture of printed and applied but it doesn't really affect the loom so I don't really see it as an issue to be honest so the fact that I'm struggling to find negatives probably tells you all you need to know it's absolutely fantastic and if you are interested in picking one up I definitely recommend it it's currently on sale so check out the link in the description if you want to pick one up that is an affiliate link so it will help support the channel but you don't pay any extra. But that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.